welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're joining me here today. Okay, so I just got home from the gym, as you can tell, and my kids are having a quiet time and my husband's practicing guitar downstairs, so I thought, hey, what a perfect time to dye my hair for the first time in like 10 years. Hmm. If you saw my previous video about my healthy hair journey, you know that I've worked really hard to get my hair as healthy as possible. You can see it's grown in quite thick and I'm quite pleased, but I definitely do want it to grow a little bit longer still. I'm working really hard with my routine and I'll, I'll take my video here so you can take a look at what I did for an entire year to try to get my hair to bounce back from all of the damage. Now the problem is that I'm 36 years old. I'm actually turning 37 this month. I started noticing my gray hairs a few years ago, but it was nothing too crazy, nothing I couldn't just like switch my part and hide but now they've become a little bit too prominent, especially in my front pieces. I have quite a few gray hairs just kind of growing in at the crown, which is really annoying. So I've decided that it's time to dye my hair. Now, I spent so long trying to get my hair healthy that I really hemmed and hawed on whether I wanted to go to a salon and get it done properly or to use box dye. After speaking to a few hairstylists, I decided to just go with the box dye because I do have black hair and the cost to go to a salon, get it done and maintain it is just um, probably out of my budget right now. I'm gonna give it a go and try with some box dye. Now I read a few reviews online, but reviews online are scary for hair dye because I think people aren't really reviewing the quality of the product, they're more reviewing the color and there's very few reviews for people that just have black hair and used a black box dye to get their hair dyed. So what I was looking for in a box dye was something with good gray coverage, but also something that wasn't going to be too harmful for my hair because I have spent so long trying to get it to where it is today. Now, the one I chose to go with is the L'Oreal Paris Casting Natural Gloss. I mean, this one was really intriguing to me because it actually is has no ammonia in it. And online, you know, it says it's three times glossier for healthy looking hair manageable feel but it has seamless first gray coverage so I mean I thought that was genius the marketing worked on me because this is my first time trying to cover grays and the fact that online you know there's this whole spiel about how it's a great product to use if you're trying to cover grays for the first time it, uh, it sold me so here we are I went with the black ganache not sure what that means, but it's not like the pitch pitch black. It's something that's a little bit more lustrous. I'm hoping that my hair looks the same, basically. Maybe a little bit healthier, maybe a little bit shinier, but with zero grays. Now, this is not a permanent hair color. This is a gloss, and it says up to 28 shampoos. So I don't know if that means over time, my grays will just reappear again, but I only wash my hair once a week, so up to 28 shampoos is pretty good for me. If we're talking six months, then hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. But I just wanted to give it a go and see what uh, what this is about, and I'm here to review it for you. Now, of course, reading the reviews online again, mixed. Some people said love it, was great, love the color. Other people said hate the color, not for me. And um, there were a few things that said that they changed the formula and that an older formula was way better than this formula. So, I don't know, I'm a little bit nervous, we will see. Now, I'm actually going to Vegas in two days and I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know why I waited so long to do this. Preferably, I would have done it one or two weeks before mainly because I'm not sure how my scalp is gonna to react to the dye, and also not sure if it's gonna cause any breakouts around my scalp either. Not sure why I waited so long. Actually, I do know why I waited so long. It's because I'm a mom and I have two kids, and you know how it is. You kind of just push things off until the last minute. We're gonna give it a go anyways. Let's hope for the best. All right, so I'm gonna open the box and see what is inside. I'm hoping there's pretty clear instructions because, again, not an expert. Okay, so looks like we've got instructions. We've got the gloss. We've got the color, making sure that we have the right one. And we have what this is called a butter mask with honey. Um, ah, yes. And gloss. 
gloves. So, I mean, it says no ammonia, but um, we still have gloves we need to wear, obviously, so we don't dye our hands. It's a step one and screw the top of the developer cream bottle. That's this. So it's got a little top here. I'm gonna unscrew. I really like the coloring of the packaging. It sounds so silly, the pink and the white. Uh, squeeze the tube to empty the colorant cream number two into the developer bottle. Okay, so this is the colorant cream. I'm nervous. Oh wait, I wasn't supposed to screw this cap. I already screwed it up. I'm not supposed to screw this cap. Okay, so I'm squeezing all of the colorant cream into here. Okay, so squeeze every little last drop. Uh, shake vigorously for 45 to 60 seconds until the mixture is blended. So I think the last time I box dyed my hair, um, it was probably 17. So yeah, it's been like 20 years, I guess. Wow, I said 10 years, but it's been 20 years. I mean, at, from what I remember, it's not that different than how it was back then. Um, I remember doing it in my parents' bathroom, well, in my bathroom at my parents' house, and I get in a lot of trouble because I was not careful and it was just getting dye everywhere. Now it says when you're done to unscrew this lid, or just the cap to avoid it from overflowing or bursting. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, all right, we're good. Now, I realize now I'm wearing some of my more expensive clothing, which is my gym wear. So I'm definitely going to change. And what I do not have a shortage of is crappy clothing that I can get dyed on. So I'm gonna go throw some of that on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I threw on a crappy t-shirt and some sweats I use for painting. And the t-shirt is something that can easily slide down my body versus over my head, which is why I chose this one. So the next instruction says, which is kind of nice, it's actually split into an A, part A and a part B. So part A is if you have natural hair with no dye in it, and B is if you do have color treated hair. So I'm going with A and it says apply with your gloves on, obviously, but you wanna apply it to damp hair. So I'm gonna have to dampen my hair and I do have my spray bottle that I use to damp my hair. Um, this one's just from Amazon. First thing I'm gonna do is brush and dampen my hair. Make sure there's no tangles. Now I'm going to use um, some old brush that I have to you know, section my hair. To look like this. I want to be cognizant that most of my grays are in these top two sections, so I want to make sure I'm leaving ample product to cover these grays. Okay, right, so now I have one, two, three, four sections here, and I'm going to put the glove on that they provided. Oh, two gloves. Okay. And now I'm going to go in and start applying it. empty. My hair feels coated. It does take to make sure, you know, you're massaging it in there. Make sure that every hair is coated. And then I only have to leave this on for 20 minutes. Again, I feel like back in the day I left it on for, you know, closer to 30 or 40. I don't know if that changed or maybe I wasn't following directions as a teenager. All right, so I'm going to clip this up and get it out of the way. Probably going to go do a little bit of editing for 20, check on my kids, and then we're gonna be back for step three. Oh, 
Okay, so it's been 20 minutes, which kind of just flew by and I'm ready to wash it out. The instructions say in the shower, add a little bit of lukewarm water to your hair, massage gently to begin working out the product, and then thoroughly rinse until the water runs clear. And then it says to apply a generous amount of the butter mask through your hair and let it sit for two minutes. I do appreciate that the hair dye doesn't have any really strong smells. It actually smells quite lovely. Definitely looking forward to washing it out to see the results. Okay, so straight out of the shower, have my hair wrapped in a little towel, which I always do anyway, so that there isn't any friction or breakage if you use an actual towel. Hair color took a, quite a bit of time to wash out. Pretty much stood there trying to get all the dye out of my hair for, for quite some time. But the hair mask, I will say, was heavenly. So really nice smell. There was a really nice slip when I was rinsing it out as well. Something I forgot to mention is that the instructions recommend rinsing it out with cool water, which I do anyways because I have low porosity hair. So it's just a great way to kind of close the cuticle when you're conditioning. And once I finished with the hair, I went in with a facial cleanser and did my skincare routine because we always want to be doing that after we wash our hair in case there is splashbacks. So really to prevent any type of breakouts and rashes from the hair dye. I wanted to make sure that I got my skin taken care of right away. Now, with that being said, if you're interested in my skincare routine, I am 36 years old. I've never had Botox filler or anything like that. Please like and subscribe because that video will be coming at you on my 37th birthday. Okay, I'm going to get this all taken care of, I'm going to blow dry, get ready for the day, and we will see the final results. Okay, so I blow dried my hair and I haven't put any products in. I just put that heat protectant el uh, elixir in and I have to say, I'm quite impressed. So if you've watched my healthy hair video, you heard me say that I have really thick, frizzy, wavy hair. Just if I blow dry, I still get you know that crown of frizz just from it being really dry where I am and obviously my new postpartum baby hair is growing in. But yeah, I blow dried it and I cannot believe how smooth it is. That was the first thing that I noticed. And the second thing I noticed is that my hair feels very soft and very healthy. But the main reason for shooting the video was obviously the gray coverage. So I did look pretty aggressively at my scalp to see if I could find any of those gray hairs. And I could not. I thought maybe I saw one up here, but I mean, I'm searching really hard and I'm just very impressed. So the color itself looks pretty much the same, maybe a little bit darker. Probably will fade a little bit given that it's semi-permanent hair color, but overall really impressed. I don't notice right now any rashes or itchiness of my scalp, but I will check back in in the next few days to let you know how it's going and so you can see the results when it's actually styled. I'm quite impressed with these results, to be honest. I am hoping that it does last me a few months before the coverage fades and I'm left with gray hairs again. One thing I will mention is that I had long wisdom gray hairs growing in and that's why I did my whole head of hair to try to cover all of it. But moving forward, if I start getting grays coming in just at the roots, then I probably would focus more on the roots. But I don't know. It was probably that hair mask that I used, but still, I can't stop touching my hair. It just feels really soft and healthy. I would say I definitely recommend this product, especially if you have black hair. Now, if you are grabbing a box dye when you have a lighter hair and it's not your exact color, I can't speak to how that will turn out. But trying to cover grays on black hair with black dye, I 100% recommend this product. Again, it's the L'Oreal Paris Casting Natural Gloss, ammonia free. It says it's 90% natural ingredients. It's in the color black ganache. I will keep you posted on the results throughout the week, throughout the month. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I really appreciate you watching my video. Hope you have a great day and bye for now. Okay, so it's been a week since I dyed my hair. I actually was in Vegas for four days and I'm back now. And I gotta say that 
I had the best hair days in Vegas. I mean, it's kind of sad that the desert has more humidity than we have here in Calgary, but I had a lot of great hair days and I don't say that very often. So it's a little bit dry now that I'm back in Calgary and I'm just acclimating to the dryness again, but still I didn't have any irritation around my scalp and no breakouts or anything like that. So far, you know, it still feels really soft and healthy. Very, very pleased with this product and I would highly recommend if you're looking to cover your first race.